Yeah. Hi, this is Dan Collins coming to you live from the Las Vegas Traders Expo with Jay Soloff, Soloff who is a option specialist at Investor Alley. Um, one of the things that I kind of surprised talking to some of the attendees walking around here and seeing some of the presentations is how many of the retail traders are, are really involved in trading complex options trade, uh, iron condors and very, uh, you know, very sophisticated option strategies, you know, 10, 15 years ago, only the experts would trade right. calls, you know, would be allowed to sell an option. Sure. Um, talk about how the, the, the evolution of, of uh, options trading with retail investors and what are the people, what are your customers asking you to help you to help them do? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a great point. It's definitely uh, a very different environment than it was you know, when I started trading options 20 years ago. Uh, I was a market maker on the floor of the CBOE, and it was very much sort of specialized of, of the people who were on the floor and maybe the off-floor groups that had representatives on the floor. Those are the people who traded options. It wasn't really much a, uh, a, a popular strategy for anybody, even basic calls, basic hedging with puts. Now you have iron condors. I talked about it in a room of 500 people yesterday, and wow. there were lots of questions about it. Uh, you know, oh yeah, I traded iron condors. What deltas do you use? I'm like, you know, it, you know so it, it really has changed. I think just what has really changed is, is the internet and the amount of education available and the widespread ability to, to for people like me to reach others and teach them about this stuff that, that wasn't available before. Yeah. And well, first of all, 10, 15 years ago for a retail trader to do an iron condor, he'd have to be really, really right. To, you know, there'd be a lot more profit he'd have to make to pay for all those legs of what they charge a retail that's trader. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So now that just the, the cost, the, the, the commissions are come down that they can do that. But is there a downside to that? Because is there, I mean, do you have to learn certain, because, you know, my favorite example would be something like option writings. It's very easy to make money in option writing, sure. even if you're a little careless. Right. And you can get lucky for a long period of time. Yes. So how important it is for traders to, to learn these strategies, the systems, day trade or, or practice trade them before jumping in because there's there's a lot of complexity complexity to them. Yeah, and, and that's a great point. I, I think that with ease of access also comes uh, sort of lack of understanding of the risk involved and I push risk management. It's the number one thing I, I push. I, all the trades that I recommend in my services, they're, they're spreads and they're things that you have limited risk, very defined risk. I think that you should you know, either start off just doing one lots or paper trades. I mean, never jump into doing even something as, as protected as a covered call. You, you want to make sure you understand the fundamentals and, yeah. and and, uh, you know, do your minimum size and then work up to, you know, maybe bigger iron condors or something like that. But you definitely want to understand all the risk and the the, uh, the way you can hedge yourself and, and all those dynamics of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, a favorite trader of mine once said, if you if you put on a complex option strategy and you eliminate, and there's 10 elements of risk and, and you eliminate nine, that 10th thing, more often than not, will actually happen. Yes. And, and that's a great thing with options, right? Because you can define your risk, mm -hmm. and and if you if you open up a little opportunity for profit here, you open up a little risk here, mm -hmm. which is great with options. But you need to understand that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's really all about probabilities, and you don't need to be a statistician, but you should understand what it means to have you know a seventy percent probability. It also means that there's a thirty percent chance that it's going to go against you, just like polling in an election or something like that. Just because someone is ahead in the polls, there's a probability, probabilistic chance that the other person's still going to win. You have to understand that it's it's a risk. All right. Thanks, Jay. Thank you. You know, we're going to take a little break here. We're going to be back to talk options and probabilities live from the Las Vegas Traders Expo.